There is a ton of really good entertainment to choose from on board a cruise ship, and hey, most all of the very best is free. There's also a few choices that can bite you in the wallet if you're not careful, but no worries, we've got you covered. Guys, my name is Michael, and welcome to the channel. Here we share some fun tips on, well, fun, and we'll show you how to do it without breaking the bank. So hey, tap that subscribe button and check out our other videos. Entertainment comes in many forms on a cruise ship. There's so much to choose from and so much to do for every age. You have of course the pools, water slides and hot tubs, the games, contests, and many of the ships have free outdoor movies at night. So there is definitely no lack of free entertainment. Now there are some other entertainment choices that do cost money and that's what I want to talk about. For example, Carnival has the Motion Thrill Theater and the IMAX Theater, which does cost extra, but it's not going to break the bank. There are, however, a few choices that can be rather costly. Most of the cruise ships have an onboard casino, and they are beautiful and a lot of fun. Now, everybody knows, yes, they can be costly. Here's the thing. Now, if you're sitting in Vegas, you pull out that $20 bill out of your wallet and feed the machine. Well, at some point, you're going to see your money going, or worst case scenario, gone. But on a cruise ship, you're sliding your room key to play, and it's very, very easy to lose track of how much you are spending. Now, just add a few cocktails to that equation, and oh my. Okay, a couple of tips here for you. Stay out. No, I'm just kidding. It's a really good idea to maybe set a spending limit for yourself before going inside and stick to it. And or keep track of what you're spending while you're doing it. Write it down if you need to. Here's you another really good tip. Set the alarm on your watch or your phone for say 30 minutes, 45 minutes. When that alarm goes off, finish your game, then take a break. Get up and walk out of the casino. Take about a 10 or 15 minute break. This will get you out, get you some fresh air, get the blood pumping again, and clears the mind. Actually go outside if you can. Nothing like fresh sea air. Many times you will find that you may not even go back in, thus saving yourself from yourself. Another place to use caution will be the arcade especially if you have young ones. It's a similar situation because the key card is being used to play. Another good point to know is that most cruise lines will allow you to set spending limits for your key cards. This can be a really good tool and it's not being mean, it's being sane. Okay, have you ever played bingo on a cruise ship? Now I'm not really the bingo kind of guy and I can't seem to find any blue hair gel, but I have to admit, the bingo games on a cruise ship are a lot of fun, and you can win real money. But here again, all things in moderation, because yes, you can rack up some charges here too. If you're not careful, it could be your credit card company yelling bingo and not you. Okay guys, coming up in part five, we are looking at internet and cell phone usage on a cruise ship. We're going to take a potentially ugly situation and make it both pretty and affordable. So remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.